What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. For today's video, we are going to be doing a St. Patrick's Day video. And as you can see, I already did a little bit of my eyebrows. First, we're going to go in with the Born This Way Concealer. And that is in the shade, I'm not sure what shade that is, but it's a very light shade. And what you want to do is put it all over your lids of your eyes and just blend it in with a beauty blender. And if you guys didn't know, I did purchase a little material for a back backdrop and it was only $5. So that color we're going in was from the MAC and Jeremy Scott palette, that bright yellow just to use it as a transition color. And we're using the little brush that I got from my Ipsy bag. If y'all haven't, or if y'all don't know about Ipsy, they have a little $10 thing where you pay $10 a month and you get like five mini goodies a month. And it's really cool. I really recommend getting that, um, but some of the products are small, so be aware. And yeah. I did go live that was my first time going live now I know what it's like to go live and what to expect so I will be more ready next time but I wanted to try it just because I haven't posted a video now we're going in with that orangish color from the Jaclyn Hill palette and you're just going to want to blend it with well I have the Anastasia what is it Anastasia blending from the brush from the Anastasia palette. <laughs> what you want to do is just blend, blend, blend. Yeah. I really did like the outcome of this look. Um, I did add a little bit of some tape. It's not the tape I usually use, but it's the only kind I had and I needed it, so. Excuse my tape guys You want to go in with that brown color and just blend it onto your lid And yeah, make sure your tape is in place And I do usually use clear tape so guys Don't mind this tape I'm not sure what kind of tape it is I think it's the Williams tape yeah any tape is fine as long as as long as it sticks onto your eyes it will do the job um, I just didn't have my clear tape I like my clear tape better because just because I don't really like this tape <laughs> But yeah, you want to blend it through your inner and your outer corner. Now you want to go on with that darker brown and put it on your outer corner and just blend it in. Sometimes I forget what like it's supposed to be called or what I'm supposed to be doing. And I just lose my train of thought, but you know, here's a video. So I'm not sure what my next video will be, but I really want to start on it now because it takes me forever just to get a video up. I did actually have a recent video that I wanted to post. But my phone kept messing up and my video wasn't going with the sound. So I don't know what was happening, but it was all messed up so I couldn't upload it. Yeah. Here I am doing the St. Patrick's look a week later. I really do need to go get my eyebrows done, guys. Look at that. I tried to clean them up as much as I could for the video, but I didn't want to clean them up too much because if I go get them done, then they're going to make my eyebrows too thin, and I hate my eyebrows thin. 
most of the brushes that I am using are from Morph. Morphe. I don't know how to say it, but yeah. Guys, I had got this Christmas set makeup brushes for Christmas, and I'm not really liking the outcome of them, so I plan on ordering some different Morphe brushes, but I do recommend them for starters. They are good, but they're I just feel like they're not that great for blending. The specific ones that I have, not the other ones. But yeah, for this look, you're basically going to be piling a bunch of like lighter browns to darker browns and like a black. And then, yeah, you just wanna blend those all together, make sure they're blended nicely and then you're just going to add a green top on it this could be a really fast look you don't have to do eyeliner if you don't want to and that green color is from Anastasia it's called emerald it was backward on my camera but that's okay so you just want to apply that all to your lid and just pat it in there not pat it what's the word Whatever I'm doing, just do that. <laughs> Guys, if y'all haven't already, please pause this video and go down to the like and subscribe button and please do so. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up while you're at it. It would mean so much. As I've always said, Please, if you want and if you can, go share this video. I feel like I would be helpful to a lot of things. Even if I'm not doing my makeup right, shows you what not to do, what to do. This is just my style of doing makeup. Um, I'm not saying I'm completely right, but yeah, this is me. Now you want to go in with that pointier liner brush and just make like a line not like a line but a liner you know what i mean and that's what the tape is there for to help you out a little bit more um i'm personally personally oh i can't say i can't talk right now but that does help me a lot with my liner and with some of my other looks um yeah i just feel like the tape does help a lot if you need it I would highly recommend using tape it is helpful I did buy this um, NYX glitter and it's my first time using it um, what color is it it's in the color crystal I don't know what color it is but it's like a gold and when I was like applying it after my eyeliner it was like burning my eye like I think I left the part in here where you can see like my eye twitching a little and it was like burning my eye and the glitter wasn't actually staying on like it would smudge my eyeliner um, I did fix it but I think I might have to try a different glitter because this one wasn't actually doing what I wanted it to. I do love NYX. Um, they do have great products. Um, I guess it's just this one. Maybe I shouldn't have done it so fast after my liner. Not sure, but it just didn't work this time for me. That was my first time trying it, actually. Here's the little slow-mo of it. See, like the glitter would go in some spots, but it wouldn't stay in other spots that I wanted it to, so. This is the part where it's like burning my eye. My eye gets all red. I have been getting a lot of pimples lately. Um, 
and a lot of black kids so if you guys recommend anything please help a girl out see right there right there is where it like smudges my eyeliner and it messes it all up why can't i talk in this video like it's what ifs I did like the glitter and how it came out, but most of it, like, in person, you couldn't, like, see it. Like, if I were with my friends talking to them, I don't think you could have seen it that much from, like, just being, like, feet away. I don't know. I feel like I wanted something more bolder and shinier, maybe. Um... I did zoom in the video a lot more this time, so y'all are up close and personal, so y'all could see my every move on how I was doing it. Now you're going to take that Tarte lighter shade and put it under your eyebrow bone. Make sure it's not too harsh because sometimes people like put it really harsh under their eye, their bone, and it looks kind of weird. That spray that I'm using is the Smashbox Primer Water. I use that for almost everything. Make sure it's nice and dry. Then we're gonna go in with the Milani Prime Perfection. It's a face primer, hydrating plus pore minimizing, oil free. Um, it says apply to skin to clean skin use alone or under any makeup to extend the wear this primer is really cheap it's a drugstore primer um, I do like it I do recommend it it feels very lightweight on my face and it keeps my makeup steady throughout the day it says primes Skin to create a smooth canvas before applying any foundation hydrates skin and creates a natural finish okay now we're going in with that silky fit concealer BB I think this is a drugstore concealer not sure hmm I don't know it says whitening anti-wrinkle sunscreen cosmetics and I did go in with the Orphe brush it's like a flat headed brush I don't know how to explain it but yeah yes see and as always I love to use my hourglass foundation um, I bought this in Las Vegas when I went during Christmas break. It's in the shade Vanish Nude. Okay, so the more you apply on your face, the more coverage you get. So just keep that in mind. Um, I do like this foundation because it does leave you with a matte finish. And I don't know, I just love this foundation so much. And it doesn't look too cakey if that's the word yeah it doesn't look too cakey like afterward and when I work at a Mexican restaurant I am a server and I wear this foundation and it stays on throughout the whole day keep in mind that I do have to run back and forth just to get everyone's stuff everyone's food that they need and whatever so I do kind of sweat and I do go back and forth, whether it's hot, whether it's cold, it does stay on your face. I highly recommend this foundation, guys. It is worth the money. And I feel like it's the best foundation I've ever came across. And what you want to do is blend it with a damp beauty blender. Um, I do love to spray primer on my blenders before I do blend. Um, I don't know, it's just me though, but I do re recommend that. 
I don't know why I'm having so much trouble talking today. <laughs> Guys, I'm so excited to have the summer off of school and to just be posting videos and vlogging and doing all of that cool stuff. Right now, I don't have a lot of time to do it because of school. Um, I wish I had more time. That mascara is the Ramel. 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 I don't know. Mascara. It is from the drugstore. Drug it's at like $8, I think. Oh, I'm hungry. My stomach's growling. This airspun powder is from drugstore. It's about like $5.99, I think. I do recommend this. Um, this is the only powder that I have tried, so I wouldn't know if it's like, I wouldn't compare it to anything is what I'm trying to say, but I do love this um, powder. I don't know why I can't talk today. But yeah, you want to put it all under your eyes and um, cut it for your contour. I didn't really contour, I just bronze today. Yeah. Those eyelashes were from Wispy. It's a multi-pack with three in it. Really recommend those. I really love those eyelashes. And then the glow kit that we're using is the Anastasia Beverly Hills one in Sun Dipped. And you just want to put all of that under your cheekbones, not under your cheekbones, like, you know what I mean. You'll see in the video. Oh my god, I love this, this glow. It's called Liquid Glow. Um, it's in the shade Pearl, Perla. And what I'm doing is putting it on my beauty blender and then blending it out with the blender. I do feel like the blender does make a difference from an actual brush because a brush makes it more harsh. And yeah, I feel like you get more of like a natural glow with the beauty blender. So yeah. You want to, I don't know if y'all can hear my stomach, but it's growling. Um, put it on the bridge of your nose, the tip of your nose, and on your cheeks and your lip. And I'm just adding some on my forehead a little bit. Going back in with that little liner brush, you want to wipe it off. Um, we're going to go in with a goldish color and put it under our waterline. And just put it, just so you have a little bit of a pop color under there. You can also use a black or like another green to pop it out or if you want it to go darker, you could just do darker colors. It's really up to you, but yeah. For the lip, we're using the Tarte Lip Paint. Let's see what color it is in the color Fly. I don't really have much lip glosses or lipsticks, but I do love all of the Tarte lip gloss and lipsticks. I do love gloss, I do love matte, I love all of them. This is the final look guys, I hope you like it. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you guys have any suggestions, please comment below. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and thank you guys so much. I hope you like this video. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.